Here right now at Philippine Merchant Marine Academy to attend the Valentine's party. The Valentine's Day celebration is one of the long-standing yearly traditions celebrated in the academy. It begins early in the day with an opening performance of the Silent Drill Company, otherwise known as the Crackers, as we affectionately call them. This gives the audience a chance to witness an awesome performance and at the same time, a great opportunity for the crackers to impress their dates. Fun fact, the rifles they are using are M1 Garands. Each rifle weighs 4.3 kilograms. The whole performance takes about 45 minutes, ending with the final formation of the Spanish word, adios. After the performance, the guests are then welcomed to the barracks for the open house. Let's go take a look inside the quarters. During social events like the Valentine's party, the cadets also showcase their creativity in designing and transforming their respective quarters to suit the occasion. The quarters with the best design is given an award. The Valentine's Day celebration is not just any ordinary school party, in the sense that every detail of this occasion is organized solely by the cadets themselves. In essence, it is still part of their leadership training, with the upperclassmen taking charge. Normally, guests are not allowed to enter the barracks. The open house activity allows them to get a glimpse of the cadets' living quarters firsthand. In these rare occasions, the cadets are allowed to relax a bit in order to give them a chance to socialize with their guests, within reasonable limits, of course. We're here right now at the quarters, and some of the senior cadets here were my former students when I was a professor here about a few years ago. Here at the Bravo Quarters, and this was actually my quarters when I was a cadet. This was my quarters back then, about 18 years ago, right in this spot. Back in 2012 to 2013, and then again in 2015, I worked in the academy as a professor in the College of Marine Engineering and as disciplinary director in the Department of Midshipman Affairs. That's why the senior cadets today know me very well as they were 4th class cadets the last time I was here. Do 
These guys are former quarter mission. here for the KDS Quarters. It's very tiring to walk around here and it's very hot here in some valleys. So we're just uh, taking a break here in the box. This is my date for tonight. She's my ex-girlfriend. We will be staying here until tonight and we will be attending the actual Valentine's party. After the open house, the cadets and their dates are given a few hours to prepare for the highlight of the evening, the Valentine's party. We're ready to attend the party now. As opposed to the day's activities where family and friends were welcome, the night's activity is geared more towards a romantic event for the cadets and their sweethearts, or at least for most of them. The singles table looks quite full tonight. True to the spirit of the occasion, many relationships will be formed on this night, and some existing relationships will be strengthened. However, underneath it all is an unavoidable truth applicable to all who have chosen the seafaring profession. Those relationships will eventually be tested the moment these future mariners leave for sea duty. For some reason, seafarers have a notorious reputation with regards to romantic relationships. There's the issue of long distance, long absence, and of course, the rumors about girls in every port. Not all women can handle such a situation, but those who can are a special breed. After all, it takes a strong man both in mind and body to work on board a ship but it takes a stronger woman to love that kind of man. And I should know, 19 years ago in this very same hall, I attended the Valentine's party with the strongest woman I know, and I have been with her ever since. As I walked around the dance floor, I couldn't help but notice the happiness written on the faces of couples in love. I hate being the one to burst the bubble, but many of the couples dancing here tonight will never end up together as man and wife. It is a sad truth, but like I said earlier, it takes a very strong woman to love a seafarer. In my case, it wasn't always perfect, and there were a lot of rough times, all of them my fault by the way. But I was lucky enough to have a partner who doesn't simply give up at the first sign of trouble, or the second, or even the third. I guess I'm just lucky to have found such a woman early in life, but surely after 19 years of being together, that's gotta count for something, right? So just like what Beyonce sings in her song, if you like it, then you should've put a ring on it. And that's what I did. The moment I knew I found someone who can handle my shenanigans, I grabbed on and never let go. To my dearest wife, my partner, my best friend, I love you. 
whenever I'm with you, every day is Valentine's Day. <laughs>